When I came out, I had two small children. I didn't have any peers, and I needed to find people who were like me, and that was really difficult. And so I began to organize Mother's Day celebrations and picnics, and I would have parties at the house and invite couples, and we would all have our kids running around. At a time when the survival was about not speaking, mm. I, we were you know, trying to create sp space for us to speak and for the children to speak with people who were just like them. I was an organizer. I didn't know I was an organizer then. Mm -hmm. um, and then you um, went to open the Midwest office of Lambda Legal, right, at the time that I then was sort of finally coming out. I come along wanting to organize Latina lesbians and Mona, Mona, how do I do this? And where's this group? And it was in June of 1995. There were about 15 Latina lesbians at this brunch. And somebody said, why don't we do this for ourselves? The next month was the first meeting of Amigas Latinas. I feel it came sort of from the community, from women who said, mm -hmm. let's do that. Let's create space where we can talk about what it means to be that intersection of Latina and lesbian bi. And we started looking at also trans issues and the sort of totality of what it meant to be sort of a Latina. They're a wonderful pairing. Yvette is more out there. She'll take more of a, uh, an overt stand, if you will. Uh, she's more visible. Mona has this wonderful, quiet leadership about her that gets things done. She just has a different style about her, and together, that style is really, really powerful. I, I get so energized by the emerging young leaders of today because they are fierce. There is nothing that is going to stop them from doing what they feel is needed, you know, for the community. I think that people mistakenly believe that only people, older people have answers, and I actually mm -hmm. don't believe that. I think that the youth Absolutely. have answers that we all need to be hearing. I think the best thing that we do is to um, listen. Listen, give them support. Um, sometimes I, I can connect them up with resources, but oftentimes just listening and uh, helping with the process.